All right, well, we got the final fucking nail in the coffin. I'm sorry, I'm a bit sick, but I really feel like making this video. So, as everyone on the internet who likes games know, the day before came out last week. It was a disastrous launch. Never seen that much backlash before. But, but you know, um, there were people who were defending it. They were like, you know what, there's potential. Absolutely potential. This game could be better, you know? And, uh, and I understand where they would come from, because besides all the buckiness and the very empty gameplay loop and whatnot, I mean, there were a foundation, right? You had some, you had some movement mechanics, you had some visuals. So I guess, um, I guess you could make the argument that, that there were a foundation to build upon. But um, I mean, most people, I would say 99% of people were very critical of, of this uh, mentality of them actually fixing this and turning it into a viable product after all the shit that we've been through ever since they released the initial gameplay trailer ever since then them deleting stuff them not communicating them postponing the release date it's all very big red flags to me now as i mentioned the game released a lot of people were very unhappy uh, you can definitely very clearly see that by the um, the feedback uh, and the reviews on the Steam store page. Um, but nonetheless, the game still had, you know, players and it it actually had some fans and some some uh, some people defending it. And uh, I mean, each to their own man. Who, who am I to tell you not to believe in it? And I understand why you would want to believe in a game like this. Clearly, this type of game is something that the customers want. You know, it's something that we as gamers want. It would have been an awesome project. But today, on the 11th of December, Christmas gave to me. Fantastic just released that uh, the company is uh, closing. <laughs> I mean, I, it's, it's almost incredible. It's as incredible, or not incredible, but it's as... Um, like, I, I can't even... It's, it's as shocking as it's sad. I mean, it's just fucking terrible right i mean it's just it's just so sad because a lot of people bought into this and a lot of people played this game for more than the two hours um i had more or less made a conscious decision that i wasn't going to buy it but i did i did buy it last friday i set a timer made sure that i played less than the two hours i played one hour and maybe 40 minutes or something like that and then i went out immediately and refunded it which was a very good decision, but not everyone made this decision. And a lot of people were unfortunately uh, stuck in, in, in this situation where they they purchased a game and uh, they couldn't refund it. I would imagine that some of those people, they did want to refund it, but they just didn't come to that conclusion in the two hours of playtime where you're guaranteed a refund. And I think that's very sad, but obviously there were a lot of people who also wanted to defend the game and stick by it. But now we have this release, um, Fantastic is closing. And I don't think it could be much clearer that this was a huge scam all along. And it's just, oh my God, I, I, that people didn't realize this is, um, it's very sad. And I don't want to, I don't want to speak ill of people and their beliefs and their, you know, I understand why people would want this to be real. I understand why people would defend this because they were hoping that this would be real. I mean, I, I shouldn't speak ill of people because they they are dreaming about a game that everyone would love to see. But it's but it's very sad that a lot of people didn't realize this because the flags were very obvious. I've seen way too many videos about this whole situation the last couple of days, ever since Friday. So some people tried to make the argument that, oh, the game that we received at launch last Friday was a, an earlier build of the game because I mean, all of those features that we saw in the trailers, they were gone. So clearly we must have received their earlier build, right? Then some people say, oh, maybe they had to downscale a bit because of performance. And that's totally wrong. Let's let's get down to brass tacks here. From day one, from whenever they released their first trailer, there were clear red signs that this is not a real product. You had real game developers who would react to the trailer and they would all comment that yeah this doesn't look like real gameplay this looks like it's scripted events or it's scripted in some way and you had promotional trailers you had promotional uh, images and stuff like that and it was all composed 
in a very similar way to other successful games. That being The Division or Black Ops Zombies, I believe, was another trailer. They pretty much just copied how, how they did it. And it was also revealed that most of the um, most of the stuff in the world, in the game world, was purchased assets. And, you know, it's its own discussion if that's a bad thing or not. When, when you look at all these facts together, it's very clear that this this was made intentionally to look like the perfect zombie survival MMO. They did everything they could to build as much hype as possible. They, they were very crafty with this thing, right? They they clearly built these trailers in Unreal Engine, which it, it was deceiving enough to fool most of us. It fooled me, it fooled my brother. We were very excited for this. Uh, I didn't realize that this was a uh, totally a fake game before like a year ago. I think a year ago, that's when I said, this is not real. But yeah, I, I'm sorry that this turned into a bit of a, a rant and me rambling, but it's just, it's such a sad situation, honestly. And people really got fucked. This, this fucking statement from Fantastic, it's, it's just a, uh, it's just a clear sign that this was all a scam. And another thing that I noticed is that they said so actually in the top they say um today we announced the closure of fantastic studio unfortunately the day before has failed financially and we lack the funds to continue all income received is being used to pay off debts to our partners what fucking debts are you talking about clearly an excuse not to repay all of the people that you scammed and if you go a little further down they say this it's important to note that we didn't take any money from the public during the development of the day before. There were no pre-orders or crowdfunding campaigns. We worked tirelessly for five years, pouring our blood, sweat and tears into the game. Yeah, we've heard that fucking last sentence a million years. What does that mean, pouring blood into game development? I, I don't even know what that means. One thing is for sure, yeah, you're right. You didn't take money in terms of pre-orders or crowdfunding campaigns but you did take fucking money when the game was released last friday and you asked people to purchase it for 40 dollars or euros or whatever that's money and now that you're saying in the top fucking uh, paragraph that you're not going to pay them back because you have to pay off debts to our partners what the fuck are you talking about it's mind-boggling that this is happening it's it's so crazy. We, we really need to learn from this. Things might be too good to be true sometimes. Sometimes you will see things that appear in one way and in reality it's not. There's been plenty of YouTubers who has criticized Fantastic, basically from day one, to, to signify that, that, that there's something wrong here. There's something rotten going on here. And all of those people, they were proven right. And all of the people trying to defend this piece of shit, they were proven wrong. And, and, I, and I don't mean to laugh or, or say, haha, you, you were wrong. I'm actually quite sad because I think the majority of people would have loved for the, the, the minority of people defending this to be right, right? Because then we would all have been winners. We would all have been winners if this actually turned out to be a great game. But now because this turned out to be a, like truly a scam, everyone is a loser. But mainly the people who purchased it and didn't manage to get a refund, they are the losers. That's really sad. So, please, if you watch this, take take note of this. Learn from this. If you were one of the people who sadly didn't get a refund, I'm very sorry. I hope that you can contact Steam and maybe get a refund anyways, because obviously you deserve it. This is a scam. You've been scammed. Um, but if that's not possible, I'm very sorry. But please, just take note of this and learn from this. And make sure that in the future, Whenever something seems too good to be true or there is a bit of a fuss if it's is this real or not, just wait. Just wait a bit with buying it, okay? Um, do yourself a favor. And that's that's all. I just want to speak about this real quick. So yeah, goodbye.